I'm Penny St, and I'm the host of Peace with Penny. We're excited to continue with the second episode of our fifth season. On our show, we interview Israeli and Palestinian peace organizations. We believe that peace is possible in the Middle East, and we are committed to giving a platform to the organizations that are working to make it happen. We've had over 75 interviews with incredible organizations, and we thank you for your interest. In our next episode, we'll be speaking with Phil Saunders of Path of Hope and Peace. We first spoke with Phil in January of 2022, and we wanted to get an update of their work. Path of Hope and Peace began in 2014 as a connection between peacemakers in the Israeli town of Sur Hadassah and the Palestinian town of Hussan. In Israel and the West Bank, communities are often divided along ethnic and religious lines. We'll learn how Path of Hope and Peace has transformed the town of Hussan from a center of violence into a model of peace and cooperation. Since the beginning, they've added other Palestinian and Israeli towns and have become a model embraced as a working prototype for conflict transformation, which today is known as the Hussan, Beitar Elite, and Sir Hadassah model. In 2021, Path of Hope and Peace was awarded the Victor J. Goldberg Prize for Peace in the Middle East. But you may be wondering why I work so hard to share the heartening stories of Israeli and Palestinian peace organizations. I'm Jewish, and that's part of it. Israel is so important to our religion that for centuries in every service, we pray facing Jerusalem. But I live almost 7,500 miles away from the Middle East. Did something happen to get my attention? You bet. It was the summer of 2014, and for my son's bar mitzvah present, just like many Jewish parents, we wanted him to bond with the Holy Land. Oh, it worked perhaps too well. My husband had stayed back at the hotel, and our friends, my son and I, had just stopped in a pharmacy. Run, run to the bomb shelter, sweetie. Please, please hurry. I didn't hear the sirens at first, but the Israelis did. They're used to hearing these things. We ran to the back of the storeroom. It was a 12 foot by 24 foot windowless bomb shelter. My heart's pounding. Boom, boom. I hear it and feel the percussion of the exploding bombs. I'm trying not to get sick. I look at my 13-year-old son and I think I'll never forgive myself if something happens to him. That's an excerpt from a speech I gave to the Orange County Jewish Bar Association. It was the first but not the last time we had to run to a bomb shelter. Our adventure and my transformation is also the subject of my book, Blasted from Complacency, A Journey from Terror to Transformation in Israel. There is no chapter in a parenting book on what to do when a war starts and you're on a family vacation. Think touring extraordinary and sacred sites mixed with cowering in bomb shelters. I'm still trying to get over the Jewish guilt of taking my son to war for his bar mitzvah present. The impact of being human targets helped me understand the plight of Israelis living like this, and it also made me want to work on peace. How Israel is often described on the news is not what I'd seen with my own eyes. And I felt Palestinian parents also preferred their children playing safely in their backyards. The missiles exploded just near enough to blow apart my world as I knew it, forever changing me. And you'd never recognize my life today with what it was like then. I believe I found my life's purpose. We hope you will join us on October 10th to hear another amazing story of empathy and strength. Please share the link to the recording on our Peace with Penny YouTube channel with family and friends. If you are a peace organization, please share these hopeful messages with your supporters. And if you missed last week's first episode of season five or any other episodes from the previous seasons, you can find them on our YouTube channel as well. And may you live in peace, shalom, and salam. Thank you.